Good morning, my classy, classy people. It's Saturday morning. That's right. Coffee with the speaking. Early on a Saturday morning, about 6.20 as always. One of my favorite days is to be in the studio on Saturday morning looking at past performances of the weekend to come for sure. As always, we ask that you turn your closed captions on. And remember, we're only three weeks out from the Breeders' Cup, which means our tip sheets will be available uh, for both days, uh, Juvenile Day on Friday the 4th, and of course, all day uh, on uh, Saturday, right? So we'll cover the 14 races. We'll cover all 23 races or 25, whatever it is, and our tip sheets are 20 bucks per day. Great way to support us. We pour all the money back into our studio. So please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. You'll see the email address go across to the bottom of the screen. And everybody, thanks so much. A bunch of people already got their orders in, and I really do appreciate it for sure. And we'll make sure we'll get those out in due time, uh, three weeks from now for sure. Well, uh, we're going to be looking at a race on uh, Sunday. Over there at beautiful Keeneland in Lexington is the Franklin uh, Stakes, right? It's a grade three. For fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, five and a half panels for 300000 Now, it is a full field of 12 with a bunch of AEs uh, that's also eligible. So, you know, let's just call it a full field of 12, five and a half panels. On Sunday, race number seven at Keeneland, a lot of money, 300000 These gals can flat out tip. And I got an opinion in here, you know, um, I think you're going to get great value either way. But the number 11 horse, again, that's far, far outside, Brooke Marie. Well, Brooke Marie is 8-1 uh, to one on the morning line. You know I love that. And the fact that she's in 11 hole in a sprint doesn't bother me. You know I hate to be wide in these post positions, particularly in two turns, because to me, the enemy of horse racing is always and will be ground laws, but not so much in the sprint if the horse has enough tactical speed to get out and get over. Now, Brooke Marie, the number 11 horse is 8-1. to one. She can't make the top in here, but there's no reason why she should lose ground down the back stretch. She should just drop behind the field and get over and save the crown. And Miss Marie has won six races from 18 starts, four seconds and two thirds for a cool almost $500,000. And again, the horse is by Lemon Drop Kid on the back end by Giant Causeway. Mr. Kennedy is doing all the training. And we got the man with the golden hands, right? In my opinion, the best jock in the country, Louis Saez, as I say with a smirk, right? I love Louis Saez, of course. And again, to me, Brooke Marie offers tremendous value in this race. This is the third race off the cycle off of a 94-day layoff, two back there. Uh, last race at Kentucky Downs on September 10th, about 36 days ago in the Lady Sprint, grade three. Didn't run, ran pretty even around the racetrack at 21 to, 21 to 1 with Bayerano in the arms. Now back in 36 days, I think it's a little class relief because there's no Capanelli's in this race. And two back when she came off the 94-day layoff at Ellis Park on August 7th in that stake race. Let me see what name was the stake. That was the uh, Distaff Turf Stakes that day. She was beaten by a horse in here, uh, Creative Credit, uh, which is the number four horse. I think she had a little traffic that day. She was 3-1. to one. It was her first day, uh, her first time off of almost a four-month layoff, 120 days, yeah, about three and a half months. Now this is the third race off that September 10th race, and to me, her speed figures may be a tick and a half below the top two horses in here, which also offers value, but to me, I'm willing to give Brooke Marie a big, big shot in here for sure. We like the number 11. We'll be our top billing, and again, eight to one, you can't sneeze at that. Our second pick here, well, you ain't going to have to look far, okay? Of course, uh, the number two horse with the smooth Tyler Gaffling on in the yards, Caravelle. Well, Caravelle is a very, very nice horse. I mean, listen to this girl. The number two is four to one on the morning line. 18 starts. Guess what? Ten of them are wins. Wow, by missing mass. That's very nice. It's Brad Cox and all his merry horses. This is a big head horse. 
Caravelle, right? Brad Cox is doing the conditioning. He's calling the plays, right? And you got Tyler Gaffney right, on this horse for sure. Now, I'm telling you, something that's really weird about uh, Caravelle, guess who rode the horse last time? Louis Sias to a very, very nice win. But that's not strange because really... Over there uh, at Saratoga, uh, Tyler Gaffleon has ridden this horse four or five times. So that's really not shocking to me that uh, Louis Sias is not on the horse, but Tyler Gaffleon is. It would be interesting to know if Louis decided not to take this one and take Brooks Marie, which is our top pick, okay? But wherever Louis go, I would like to follow for sure, right? But don't get it twisted. Tyler Gaffleon rides this horse very well. Caravel for me, is a horse that loves to win. Obviously, 10 wins from 18 starts, that's north of uh, 50%. And again, we know that Brad Cox do what he do in Kentucky, for sure. So at 4-1, to one, right? I don't know if you'll get that on Caravel, but that's a square price for a horse that loves to win and knows where the winner's circle is, and it's Cox and Tyler Gaffleon. So the number two horse is, to me, is clearly the horse in here to beat, for sure, and should be on all your verticals, exotics, and horizontals, if you ask me. There's just no way, no shape, no form, no fashion, that you leave the number two horse, Caravelle, off your ticket. That would be a serious mistake. And by the way, this mayor, who's five years old, they paid $500,000 for this horse back in the 2021 uh, FTK uh Sell. So again, very, very nice horse, Caravelle. She'll be on all of my tickets, and she'll be our second pick for sure. And our third pick in here, well, you're not going to have to look far. It's the number six horse, Twilight Gleaming, right? Well, Twilight Gleaming is a very, very nice horse for sure, right? I mean, again, trained by who? That's right, Mama. It's Wesley Ward. Well, listen to this gal. Twilight Gleaming is 7 to 2 on the morning line. Again, that's a square price for a horse uh, that has five wins from eight starts in three seconds. So, in other words, in eight starts on this three year old filly, it has never ran worse than second. And we got a pretty large sampling of eight starts. I mean, when your filly has eight starts and five of them are wins, yeah, you need to pay attention. And the other three is seconds. This horse has never finished off the board and never finished worse than second in a large, what I'm calling a large sampling, eight starts. The speed figures are okay. They're not off the chain, but they're solid. It's Wesley Ward. It's five and a half furlongs. It's on the turf. You got Johnny V. Hello. And again, <laughs> this horse is the speed. So what else is new? See Golden Powell and uh, many, many others that Wesley Ward trains. Of course, you know, this is what he does. This horse is riding a two-game winning streak. Uh, Twilight Gleaming horse is back in 79 days. We haven't seen this horse since July 29th out there at Del Mar where the horse went wire to wire, head to head in the daisy cutter. That's right, like a lawnmower. You know, and now this horse is fresh, fit, and fast. Horse great to turn four-year-olds on January 1. And again, I think this horse will move forward and has moved forward between her last start, 79 days, and this start. Twilight Gleaming, just like Caravelle, you can't leave either one of these two horses off your ticket. They're very, very, very strong. We like them, but you don't need me to tell you that. Again, it's Wesley Ward. Five wins from eight starts, three seconds. Hello. So the number six, obviously, is a big, big win contender in here. And will just like Caravelle, will be on all of my tickets horizontally for sure. The number six is our third pick. But remember, any of our top three picks, we believe can win the race. So that's how you should look at it when we give you our top three. We just need to put them in some sort of order, for sure. And if we was to round out our super factor, well, we would take the number one star divine at eight to one, two wins from eight starts, okay? And again, you know, uh, this is a horse that can suck up. I would use the number one underneath. And again, it wouldn't shock me if this horse could work out some sort of great, great trip for sure. The number one star divine uh, has an opportunity to hit the board and maybe upset the race. This is a very, very nice race, this Franklin Stake race on Sunday over there at Keeneland race number seven, grade three. But our top pick, we're going to go right outside to Brook Marie with beautiful, beautiful man with the golden hands. Louis Sias for sure. And Kennedy as our trainer. 
We just like everything about this horse, third race off that layoff. So for us, it's going to be the number 11. It's going to be 11, 2, 6, like that, and the 1, un, you know, underneath in our super factor. I'm not too sure. If, I'm not you know too sure that the one can't upset this race so we really do like our top four picks in here for sure we'll box them up we'll box the 11 2 6 1 up and then we'll key our top horse to number 11 that's who we really like for sure in here so for us 11 right two six one in that order box it up and then we'll key the 11 in the first and second spot and tries an exactors behind the two six the two six and number one horse for sure very very nice race for sure let me know what y'all think as always i mean it's a great betting race on sunday as we tune into more baseball and as always folks remember our tip sheets will be available for breeders cup both friday juvenile day and of course on saturday email us at speaking 24 at yahoo.com stay classy in everything you do and most of all enjoy your weekend have a little fun of course i think the weather's going to be fantastic maybe i'll go get the grandson and we'll sit here and watch a little baseball for sure stay classy y'all talk to y'all real soon let's see if we can get miss brooke marie around the racetrack with the man with the golden hands louis syad is he the best jock in the country for sure in my opinion i'm just being a homer